And I've discovered that there are five specific behaviors that legacy leaders use that really differentiates them from everybody else. And it's a great way to maximize ROI. The first thing that legacy leaders do is they're really good at connecting with new contacts on social media and subscribing to blog RSS feeds with these new contacts. The second behavior is to comment on what your contacts are doing that you really appreciate or you admire. The third behavior is to share. Share what your contacts are doing. So when you help create that platform by sharing your social media networks, your blog platform, incredibly powerful really, really important strategy. The fourth strategy that legacy leaders use is to endorse. Now, here's how this works. You can endorse a speaker or a contact if you like what they're doing. It's great for multiple reasons. The speaker is going to share your endorsement video. The conference is going to share your endorsement video. And every single time they share it, guess what? They're sharing you. They're sharing your name. They're sharing your image. They're sharing your company name. And of course, if you've tagged everything with your social media connections, your profile, tons of extra exposure for you. The fifth action that legacy leaders do. They take action. They take action with their new contact. There are three different things you can do. First of all, implement what you learned from them. And then of course, Follow up with them, that's number two. If you offer to feature them in a blog post, reach out to them and schedule it or give them a link to what you created. And of course, thirdly, if you really love what they're doing and you know that it's going to help benefit your company, your business, buy their product, use their product and provide feedback. 